This is Sudoku Primer, where puzzles are solved without pencil marks. See techniques and patterns that work well with this strategy on SudokuPrimer.com. You can print this puzzle to follow along before you watch it. Click on the link in the description below or go to SudokuPrimer.com and go to the menu item Print YouTube Puzzles Before You Watch. This is puzzle number 100 from Sudoku to Go, volume 113. We get to a point in this puzzle where we can't go on, and we need to get very creative and be very careful to look at each number, be able to move ahead. And we use these four techniques here. We use double column elimination, a set of twins, double row elimination, and ghost numbers all four of those techniques in order to, to find the next number. First of all, let me point out there's a opposite pattern right here. And if there are two numbers outside of this box in this row that aren't in this box already, they'll be these two numbers here and they'll be twins. In this case, we got a one and seven and they're already here, but we have a six and a nine. So these are six, nine twins. That leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, and five in the middle here, in the middle row. And that leaves three and eight out here. So that with that three, that's an eight. And with that eight, that's a three. We can also see that three, three makes a three there, and eight, eight makes an eight there. All right, let's uh, fill in some easy numbers here. Ones, make that a one. One. One, one, one there, so that's a one. Okay, and we've got an eight here, and eight's here, so eight and eight using double row elimination, eight, eight. The eight has to go here or here with that eight. Can't go there, so it makes this an eight. All right, and then we've got a four here, four here, four. So that's a four and four right there. And then we've got a uh, nine here, nine here. 9 there, so that's a 9. 8 here, 8 here, so that's an 8. Uh, and with that 9, we can solve our 6, 9 twins that we found. Like that. 2 and 5 is, are left in box 5 there. Now look at box 6 here. We've got a... Uh, Two, four, and five in this column outside of this box, box six. So th these are two, four, five triplets. That leaves one and seven. And with these one and one, this one and seven there, we know that's a seven and that's a one. All right. And then we've got a one and nine here, one and nine here, one and nine here. So these are one and nine there. With that one, we know that makes that a one and that a nine. And now we've got a four here, ghost fours there, so that makes that a four right there. And then let's see what we can do with the nines here. We've got a nine. One of these is a nine. We've got a nine there and there, so that's a nine right there. And that makes that a 9. And at this point, we're stuck. Or, you know, we can't see any obvious numbers. So let me show you how I used uh, these four techniques in order to find the next number. If you want to pause the video right here and see if you can find the next number, go right ahead.
but I'm going to continue on here. Well, first of all, let's see what we're missing here in this column. Two, five, six, seven. Two, five, six, and seven. We know that's a five or a seven, the only two numbers missing in row nine. That's a two, five, or a six with that seven. This is a five, six, or seven. And this is two, five, six, or seven. But we have more clues here. We got a seven going through this gate pattern here. So one of these is a seven. Well, we've got a wall right here and a five here. So one of these is a five, one of these three. So we have five, seven ghost numbers right here, fives and sevens. So these can't be a five or seven right here. So that leaves a two or a six there. He's got two, five, six, seven. Two or six, five or seven. It's five, six, seven, two, five, six. Let's look a little closer with this five and this five. Ghost fives here. The five is constrained to one of these two cells in box one. And notice this T pattern right here with the five is the only number in this column that isn't in this box yet. So we have ghost fives there. That makes this or this a five. So we have five here, five here using double column elimination. One of these is a five. So five, five, five. So that makes that a two or a six, because we have five, seven there. So we have two, six, two, six, five, seven, five, seven. So now we found a set of twins after we use this double column elimination. All right, we use these ghost numbers up here too to find these um, two, six twins right there and right there. Okay, so now if if we could solve any of these, and we really can't because we've got 5, 7, 2, 6, 5, 7, 2, 6. Well, we can't solve any of them. But let's use that a little um, and look at it a little closer. We've got a 6 going through box 1 right here. That can't be a 6 because it's a 5 or a 7. Remember, 5, 7, 2, 6, 5, 7, 2, 6. So one of these is a 6. And then let's look at box two here, we've got a six there. One of these is a six. So we have six, six, using double row elimination, one of these is a six. Well, we've got a six there already. So that makes that a six. So using these four techniques right here, found us that six. Okay, and now let's move on. That's a six right there. Okay, and then remember our T pattern with ghost, ghost fives there. That makes that a five now. We got five, five, five. And remember our fives here. We had five, five, five. With that five, we can put a five right there. And now we've got a four here, a four here. Let's see. One of these is a four. Now, we'll leave that for a minute. We have two and four missing here. With a, a corner pattern right here, we know that... Uh, one of these is a two, so we have ghost twos there, so that has to be a four, and that makes that a two right there. All right, and there's only one number left in this column, and that's a two, so we'll put that in. All right, and there's only one number left here, so um, that's a four in row six. And that leaves two and six here. With that six, we can solve those. All right.
right? Now we've got a six there, so we know these two six twins, that makes that a two. And we've got a five seven there, five seven there. And now we've got a four here, four here, four there, so that makes that a four. Let's see what we're missing in box seven here. Five, seven, eight. Five, seven, and eight. Five, seven makes that eight. Seven makes that a five. That makes that a seven and that a five right there. And with that seven, we can put a five there. All right, and with this eight, we can put, fill in our three and eight that we're missing there. We're only missing three and eight in box nine there. We can put a three there and an eight there. All right, with this five, we can fill in our two fives. Remember our two and five from earlier, from box five. All right, let's look at box one now. We're only missing one number here, and that's six. Uh, yeah, okay, six. And now let's see, we're missing three, seven, and eight there. An eight there, eight there, so that's an eight. And so one of these, so these are three seven twins, and remember our fives, Five and seven ghost numbers right here. That makes that a three. So that can't be a seven. So that's a seven, that's a three, and that's a seven right there, which leaves a three right here. And now we're only missing two and seven there, and six and three there, and five, six, and seven there. So five and six makes that a seven. And we got a five there, so that's a five, and that's a six. And now we got two and seven there. Seven with that seven, that makes that a two, that a seven. And six, three here. There's a three there. So six and three. And we got it. Okay. Well. When you get stuck and you're solving a very hard puzzle like this one, you need to get very creative and start using all the hints you can find. In this case, we needed to use these four techniques, double column elimination, ghost numbers, twins, and double row elimination in order to find that six right there. And we did, and that helped us get, past, get through the hard spot and we were able to finish the puzzle. Well, thanks for being here. I'll see you again.